Hi everyone. Hello Cancer. I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your extended mini love focus for the month of April 2020. So I have some amazing cards here. I'm super excited to see what spirit has for you in regards to love. Okay, so let's dive into this and see what is going to be presented for you because I feel like when I did the love life and love energy for the month of April for everyone, I don't feel like, it's, you know, it went that deep. And so, you know, it was, Spirit came to me and really let me know that I needed to present something a bit further. And I'm going to do it, you know. So, without further ado, let's begin, okay. All right, here we go. So cancer, first up, we have soulmates. Ooh, la la la. Okay. So obviously there is definitely a soulmate connection between the two of you, okay? And even if you are single, you know, and maybe you are in search of your soulmate, this is to indicate that your soulmate may actually be right in front of you. A lot of times we don't realize that our soulmate is right in front of us because Life get in the way, you know, let's face it, life get in the way, our children need everything, family is calling us, driving us crazy. So a lot of times we may not realize that someone right in front of us is literally our soulmate. So this energy is asking that you seek further or dig a little deeper, okay? Or maybe you and this person will come to some type of mutual understanding that you are soulmates and you may suddenly feel like you and this person belong together, okay? Partnership, agreement, a soul contract. Somebody could be possibly getting married. Who knows? Let's look a little deeper, okay? We also see ascending here, going to a whole new level, a whole new level, excuse me, okay? Things moving forward, okay? Transcending, obstacles coming in the way, but coming in the way to help you make better choices, to do better things, okay? Learning, new phase, preparing for some type of union. So somebody is definitely either getting married, getting engaged, or whatever you guys have been questioning or having a lot of concerns about definitely do involve marriage, a proposal, some type of commitment, some type of reunion or reconciliation or thinking of your ex or the person thinking about you, you know, but this is definitely preparing for something that you've always wanted, something that you always yearn for, okay? Um, in the midst of that, you know, these obstacles that are happening in your love life is here to really guide you and teach you so that way you won't make the same mistakes that you have made before. This is interesting. I shared this energy, um, similar energy with Scorpio. So maybe it's just a thing that all water signs are going through because even Pisces energy is very similar as well. So it's definitely something uh, you water signs are facing with, you know, dealing with reality um, accepting the truth, dealing with things in a different way, not dealing with things the way you used to deal with it. Okay, let's go a little further, Cancer. Okay, so this card actually came out in reverse. It's called Love Call. So somebody is really, really, you know, expressing love or coming to this conclusion that this is what they want. Listen, I'm confessing my love for you. <laughs> you know, I'm confessing confessing my truth to you. I've always loved you. I've always had deep feelings for you. But at the moment, it just wasn't the right time. You know, I had all of this stuff going on. And, you know, now that I have a moment to process everything, oh, of course, you are the one that I've always dreamed of. You know, um, there's just profound message of love that is coming your way, my love. So a love call, a beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Someone expresses their love. This is a message of love. Someone is thinking of you or letting you know just how they feel about you or letting you know that they can't seem to take their eyes off you, that they can't take their mind off you. Or, Cancer, this can be you doing this to this individual, okay? Let's look a little, oh, whoa, twin flames. You guys are the first zodiac sign to get this. Twin flame energy, absolutely, hello. 
soulmate energy and twin flames come on now for some of you this is a soulmate for some of you this is your direct twin flame guys and i don't know how you know i know i i get that i have a lot of new followers here on youtube you know or through our social media but i want to point out that you know probably about a year ago i think is when i did this video where i talked about twin flames you know and how profound they are you know if you guys have ever watched the movie um hancock right and the movie hancock you know will smith was like trying to figure himself out right he couldn't understand why he was so strong and why he was always so bitter well a lot of us judging him was like well shit put down an alcohol bottle you know <laughs> but he's always felt like this is you know something about this doesn't seem right i feel like i'm from another world somehow right and then when he met the guy then the, you know this guy his wife was the same way and when they realized will smith poked her with a fork like a kitchen fork like one of those real big forks that you flip chicken over with or something right like he poked her and he was like you're just like me you know and and it was crazy because she was like, no, I'm not. Like, <laughs> and my best, this is to me, guys, this is the best way to demonstrate a twin flame chemistry. Because you will always have the runner and the chaser. You always have the one that is like trying to show you, no, 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 no. You, you love me. I know you love me. I, I've known you from somewhere before. It's kind of like walking down the street, bumping into a person and be like, don't I know you from somewhere? Like that twin flame energy is some deep, deep stuff, man. And, you know, <laughs> I have been blessed to meet my twin flame, you know. And I will tell you guys, people have this image that a twin flame is supposed to be perfect without flaws. And, you know, there's supposed to be no disagreements and no fights whatsoever. And that is not the truth, guys. Your twin flame, if anybody, will work your nerves because they know you so well, okay? However, they also feel your pain. They also know, you know, your heart. They know when you're happy. They know when you're sad. They feel you miles away. And whether, it, you know, depending on if you are the chaser or if you are the runner, this person can either choose not to confront that feeling because they don't want to feel it themselves so a lot of times we we think oh this person don't care about me this person is not thinking of me they don't care about what i'm feeling but the truth is they know exactly what you are feeling because they are your twin flame if you want to get a really good um picture of twin flame energy guys i want you to even picture a set of twins okay they walk alike they talk alike they laugh alike okay a lot of times their parents try to be cute when they even dress them alike like it just that's what the people do and when you see twins you're like oh my god you know it may be one little thing that throw them off like maybe one is tall and one is short but they always are like this yin and yang okay there is no separation no matter how far or how close it is there is no separation so with you cancer i feel like you may actually run into someone who is a twin flame that you have not seen in a really long time okay for a lot of you this person may make some type of effort to reach out to you but somebody is saying listen I need you. The hell with that, okay? This person may reappear at your favorite place, someone you, some place you used to work, a place that you go to when you date or like to eat. This person will make their reappearance, okay? So somebody is definitely trying to reconnect with you, okay? So for some, some of you, this is an ex, and maybe you was like, no, you know, you're no good for me. All you do is do this and da 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 right? Like, you just go on and on about it, and you give them a thousand reasons of why things just won't work out. But the truth is, the reason why you don't like their ass is because they are a lot like you, okay? Full of drama, very sensitive, always got something to say. You know, they're just like you. And so you may have to stop yourself in your track and say, you know what? <laughs> Let's agree to disagree. You know, like, we don't have to do this. You know, we're going to be together. We need to really, really learn from our experiences. We need to understand that, you know, if it happened, it happened. You know, we can't change the past. 
We can't go back and try to fix something. The only thing that we can do is move forward, okay? Let's see what your soul is yearning for. But I do feel like somebody is thinking of you very heavily, okay? Wow. Oh, guys. Wow. I did not even notice. Really briefly, guys. I did not notice that this card actually said yin and yang on it. That is scary to me because I was literally just sitting here like, yeah, it's like, you know, because I'm thinking of that twin flame energy and I'm like, yeah, it's like yin and yang. It's like some shit you just can't seem to shake no matter what. And as I've been down to like, you know, try to shuffle your soul's energy, you know, bam, there it is once again. So that's double confirmation spirit really. And there is that word union again, guys. Somebody is definitely preparing for some type of reconciliation, a union, getting married, um, moving in together, moving to relocating somewhere together, making bigger moves with each other. But some of you guys are really, really trying your best to stay close to the ones that you love because, of course, a lot of you have been really overly sensitive lately. So let's see what your soul is yearning for, okay? Wow, Cancer. This is, I was not expecting this type of energy at all. Look at this. You guys actually do compliment each other. Like I said, I feel like all water signs is having this feeling of, wow, like, minds blowing. Like, where did, the, where did you come from? Like, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> you guys, I don't know how old you guys are, okay? But back in the day, there was a song by a woman named Deborah Cox. And even in that song, you can hear a little bit of that twin flame energy. She was like, how did you get here? Nobody is supposed to be here. Like, I wasn't ready for all of this love that you're trying to give me right now. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not trying to deal with the crying, sitting up all night, waiting for you to come home. Like, I'm, I, I was just not ready. Right? And he was like, well, shit. Nah. We, we gonna do this. Wow, look at that. We gonna do this. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it work. Yeah. In that order. <laughs> Let's see what your soul is yearning for. Okay, guys. So, fear. What have you doing something you don't want to do for the rest of your life, Cancer? If this person makes your heart beat and you can't seem to shake this person and you can't seem to let this person go and you always got this person on your mind and every time you guys are together your heart beats even faster something tells you that you need to look deeper okay don't push this person away because you have had past hurts or people broke your heart or you know stole things or made you feel like this small no no, 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 no. This is not the journey for that, my love. This is a journey to get your snatch back when it comes to love. Maybe there are going to be some other things that you are going through. There will be obstacles. There will be things that you have to face. But you have to be open for love. Because I feel like you guys have been so hurt that you, you know, unintentionally sabotage everything that literally comes your way. And I just keep hearing 1 o'clock for some reason. I'm looking at the thing and it's like only 13 minutes. But I don't know. I just keep hearing 1 o'clock. So 1 o'clock somewhere, okay, is probably the best time for you guys to really have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this individual, okay? I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Absolutely. Because what are, you know, what, we, I wouldn't be going through these things if I did not have all these beautiful love experiences. All these things wouldn't be happening for me. I wouldn't you don't know what, what love really feel like if I didn't have this particular person in my life. I needed this person to break my heart. You get what I'm saying? If they didn't break my heart, if they didn't bring me down to my lowest point, I would have never been able to fully appreciate someone like you. So again, Cancer, this could be some of you doing this to someone, or someone is really, really going out on a limb here and letting you know the hell with the rest of them. I got you, you know? And or Cancer, for some of you, like I said, you could be doing this to someone. Okay, this is some beautiful stuff, guys. Cancer, I wish you well. I love you. I can't. I'm so looking forward to seeing the month of May. I'm so looking forward. Cancer, I love you. You have a wonderful season, my love. Keep your head up. Stay strong and stable and focused. And don't let no one tell you that this love isn't real. Guys, please subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Thank you for watching. Have a good, good week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye. Oh. My God, Cancer, your energy was mind-blowing, my life. It really was.